It's considered by some to be a global crisis, the overabundance of plastics filling the oceans and landfills. Plastic showing up in the stomachs and intestines of wild animals and in places on Earth that even humans don't occupy. And now there's concern that we are unknowingly consuming plastics ourselves. A report from Axios over the weekend explores this issue. So joining me now to talk about that report is Axios energy and climate reporter Amy Harder. Thank you so much for joining us. Well, I was just talking about this, uh, this the other day with one of our producers right. about, you know, we're drinking from these plastic containers and, you know, bits of plastic are ending up in our own system. So, Amy, there has been a global effort to reduce the amount of plastics that we use. What does the latest data show and is it working? Well, the latest data shows that we are continuing to increase our use of plastics, and that is set to, ha set to continue to occur until at least 2028, according to the data that I've seen. And that's not necessarily because we're drinking out of plastic water bottles or using plastic straws, which are some of the most uh, emblematic symbols of this debate, but it's things like our Amazon packages. E-commerce is one of the top drivers of the increase in plastics. It may not seem as obvious, but every time you order something from Amazon, there's plastic film around it, and that's going to be one of the top drivers. And then in the developing world, it's just simply a better standard of living requires plastics, as of now, anyway. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Amy, where is the United States specifically uh, when we compare the numbers to the rest of the world? Well, in terms of our recycling rate, which is one of the key parts of this entire debate, because in theory, if we could successfully recycle our plastics, then we wouldn't have a plastic problem. A lot of experts I talk to insist that we don't have a plastic problem, we have a waste problem. And in fact, the U.S. is behind the rest of the world on our recycling. Only 9 percent of our um, plastics in 2015 were recycled, which is actually down from 2014, when it was at 10 percent. That's the most recent data we have. Globally, it was a 20 20 percent recycling rate in 2015. So things are getting worse. And unfortunately, since that data was released, you, you've had China, which has been the biggest importer of global plastic waste, has instituted a ban. So there's actually a crisis around the world happening with what to do with all this plastic waste, because China's not taking it. Yeah, we've done stories on, you know, not only are we not recycling as much as we could, but then we're really bad at it. Uh, we're not separating things appropriately. And as a result, what you just brought up, you know, China doesn't want our bad recyclables. They're, they're, they're dirty, if you will. Um, so, you know, there have been sort of two groups trying to tackle this, right? There's the activist approach, and then there are what, you know, big companies and big corporations are doing, and sometimes they're incentivized by government. But you explain sort of the two different approaches. Yeah, it's a really interesting trend that we're seeing here. So as there's this growing awareness and concern for plastic pollution, you have at the same time the biggest oil and gas companies around the world doubling down on petrochemicals. And petrochemicals are the, the raw material that is the are the building blocks of plastics. Many people may not know that the vast majority of our plastics come from oil and gas. And so there's all these plans to build these billion-dollar plants to make more plastics. So these companies think that they They've committed to this new alliance earlier this year to commit to better recycling. Now, the activists say that we should not remain dependent upon plastics and we need to get off plastics altogether because it's clear that we're not going to be able to recycle. So there's this big debate, should we recycle or should we get off plastics? And that's really where the line in the sand is at the moment. Uh, Amy, what are so-called green plastics? They're in attempt to make plastics from greener material. And there's been a lot of companies that have uh, that are attempting to do that. One high profile one is Legos. We recently did a segment with one of their top executives on our new uh, Axios on HBO show. But they're running into problems because plastic, despite the environmental footprint that it's leaving, is an incredibly durable and reliable product. Plastics from uh, oil and gas. And so you're seeing a lot of uh, science and technology being put into this area, a way to make plastics from greener material. But so far, there hasn't been a breakthrough in that area. And I suppose it wouldn't be surprising, considering the amount of food that we consume that comes in plastic containers, that some of this plastic is ending up in our system, these microplastic particles. What do we know about that? 
Well, we know that it's likely happening, but unfortunately, we don't yet know the health impacts. And that's unfortunately the case with a lot of these sort of consumption-driven things, and uh, in terms of, like, the makeup that we use or uh, things like that. And so I know there's work being done in that area, but to what degree we will know any time that it's, you know, can we can do anything about it. And even if we do know it's hurting us, it would be difficult to really know how to avoid it. And again, that goes back to just how dependent we are on plastics. I encourage everybody to try to think through your day and think about every time you use plastics. I've been doing that more, and it's and it's astounding. Yeah, I've been doing the same thing actually since reading about these sort of microplastics and considering the amount of you know I'm trying to up my water intake. Yeah. And there's always water available here, but the, it's in plastic, plastic containers. Bottles, it's right. very convenient, and I started to think you know as I'm trying to sort of improve my health with all this water, am I also damaging my health with and you know an extra dose of plastic? Got to get you a clean canteen. <laughs> I know, I know. Amy, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you.